Good morning, everyone. Steve Georgia here from Allendale's Trading Floor. It is April 11th. Uh, grain market starting off a little easier, much like what we had seen yesterday. Uh, but corn down right now, just about a half a cent, not not a lot. Uh, but beans down about seven, wheat down about six. Uh, a lot of stories surrounding the beans. Um, starting to hear some uh, continued issues out of China. Uh, so this Chinese situation still continues to unfold, where warehouses are filling up. Uh, but unable to unload about five to six cargoes uh, of beans uh, due to credit problems. So at least about 500,000 tons of U.S. and Brazilian beans uh, not being able to unload. That's worth about $300 million, um, and they just can't get the credit for it. So uh, that's an issue. That's, it could be an ongoing issue, but as of right now, there's about five to six cargoes uh, that are in question. Looking at corn, corn had a... a Decent decline yesterday, but ended up fighting its way back uh, before the close. Open interest was actually up about 12,000 uh, contracts, uh, but the managed money, so big pool of money, when you talk about money flow, uh, managed money looked like they got out of some of the contracts yesterday uh, very lightly, uh, but will that be a start to something? We have to watch the weather for that. As we mentioned yesterday, uh, Ryan Martin's weather can be looked at on our uh, on our home our homepage, right on our website. Also, uh, a lot of our morning commentary that's sent out. If you guys don't get this, we'd love to get you on that. Uh, it's free. Uh, we just need an email address in order to to get that. But weather right now is going to be a uh, a primary focus um, for the next several weeks. So as it looks right now, we've got light precip in a lot of areas over the la uh, over last night uh, and yesterday. Bigger events coming here this weekend though for northern and eastern parts of that hard red wheat areas, um, but another rain system coming in next week. So we do have wheat on the defensive here. Uh, are we going to see that continue? As long as these rains continue, we probably will see uh, some pressure uh, continuing there as well. Uh, as far as looking at some of the other areas, low 90s in, in Texas uh, over the weekend, uh, but good weather coming through the Corn Belt right now. Uh, through the weekend, but cooler temps early next week. So guys are talking delays uh, for corn, uh, and, but they're watching these cool temperatures coming in here early next week. Should lighten up by late next week and bring in some rain as well. Uh, but uh, that is, uh, that's is—that's been supporting uh, these markets up until this point. Uh, we have heard some action going on around the country, guys. Uh, some areas in Iowa uh, starting to plant. Uh, also hearing guys uh, in, in other areas too. So this is something that we, we really need to stay on. Yes, everyone's saying we could see some delays, but are we really going to? That's the other question. So stay in tune with our weather uh, and, uh, and get involved with our research that we put out uh, and stay in tune with that here over the next several weeks. Now, looking at livestock, cattle down or up, up I'm sorry, up about 35 points right now. Box beef coming in a little lower. So choice down 46, select down 93 cents. Packer break evens right now at 139.48. We did see some trade 150 in Nebraska. Uh, that's steady for that area uh, from last week. Uh, so no major changes there. We may just see a steady market today. As far as hogs, down 50 cents for April, down another dollar 15 for June's. We've seen cutout values sharply lower over the last several days, down another 248 last night. So putting that at 124.47, that's more than a $7 decline here uh, in the last two weeks. So uh, continue watching that as that unfolds. As far as the stock market, sharp decline yesterday, down about 250 points. Um, J.P. Morgan came out this morning basically talking that they don't see any big reason for that, but we are getting into the earnings season. Um, we got the market down again, another 73 points this morning. So on the defensive once again. And that's after making new highs here last Friday. Uh, some of the other markets there, gold down 70 cents, silver down right now 8 cents, the dollar up about 16 points as well. So a lot of information thrown at you guys. Um, if you need any help, give us a call over here, 800-262-7538, or check us out right on the web at allendale-inc.com. Hope you have a great day, have a great weekend, and we'll talk to you again next week.